and even like all the girls like there's only like a few sizes so most girls try to diet and exercise a lot so that way that they can fit in to a lot of clothes but forever 21 is okay like they have x s x s s m l but japanese the Japanese store has only S or M or only M. Mm. So it's hard to find like really mm -hmm. good like fit. Mm -hmm. So do you think you're fat right now, Miyako? <laughs> Nande. Why? <laughs> no, Miyako, you're fine. I think I'm not average, like more than average. I think you're average, Miyogo, and below average. You're fine. Um, Don't worry. Like, you, you, sh you should ask like some Japanese guy mm -hmm. because I'm really far like from Japanese guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. But. but like recently, like Japanese girls really skinny, mm -hmm. so skinny. I don't know why. Maybe like they don't they don't eat food much. I think mm -hmm. like high school student really skinny and like short skirt, mm -hmm. the uniform. Mm -hmm. Damn it. We should change it. You should change it, Miyako. Let's be revolutionary. Ne. Ne. Change this style. Yeah. Yeah. Ne. So even so, yes. Yesterday we went to like a beer with my classmate, mm -hmm. with Paul too. Then like one of guy like was on diet, like no, like no food. Like only like really thin noodles <laughs> and yogurt and he only for two months he lost weight six sixteen. Sixteen kilograms. kilograms? So almost around forty pounds or something? Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. No. Maybe 50 like pounds. forty, forty something. 40? That's but, crazy. But anyway, he really will go on diet more. Like, um, oh, funny boy. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. What? Right there, there's a nice Subaru for all yo. Subaru. People ask me all the time, they ask me, oh, Tokyo, it must be like Tokyo Drift. I know I talked about this before. But. Honestly, I don't see many souped, like, souped-up cars. I don't see a lot of these, like, these little cool racing Hondas or Mitsubishis, like, maybe sometimes, like, in Tokyo, but honestly, not that often. I probably see them more in America than I do here. Otherwise, I just see little tiny, like, shit boxes, Like, little tiny, cute cars. Not shit boxes because honestly, just about every car in Japan is in like perfect condition. Yay! I think. Isn't it a law? Like, if it's really old, <laughs> like if it looks really crappy, I think you get fines, don't you? Like, you have to make sure you take care of your car, right? Mm. Hello! Alright. Yay. Mihoko and I are at a currency exchange and we're exchanging Japanese yen into Korean won. And right now, the Japanese yen is really high to a, to the dollar. I think it's like 85 yen is like one dollar. So Mihoko is also gonna be exchanging some yen to American dollars. That way, the next time she comes, it's more of a deal this way. After I gave about um, Niman in, it's like, it's over two hundred dollars. I got all this Korean one. Check that out. Mm.
it's so weird looking at other countries currency it's pretty cool though it's so colorful awesome have a nice trip so says coca-cola now it is our adventure to Korea. Tax free shops in the airport are a good place to get some gifts for the people that you're visiting. Maybe, maybe it's not so much, maybe it's not as heartfelt as it would be if you got like, if you actually went shopping for them, but either way, it's still good. It shows that you're thinking and appreciate. But anyway, what I'd like to talk about now is about getting searched in the airport. So when my parents came to visit me after my year studying in Japan, um, out of all the people that went through the line, they chose my dad and they like gave him like a body search and checked his passport and held him back and my dad was like, what the hell? They just did that, why? Because I'm a foreigner? And I don't know. I don't know, I mean, I'm, I think they do. Um, I know especially when I was here and when I was uh, in Japan in 08 at some um, train stations they would look for people that looked like they were foreign like they were Chinese or American or something and they would check their passports to make sure that they were there legally and you have to show that's why it's important you have to keep your passport on you at all times in case somebody asks you what you're doing. So Mihoko and I made it to the airport. We're in Seoul right now. And it's really intimidating to me, a little bit scary when I don't know like any of the language at all. When I'm in Japan, of course, there's words that I don't know, but it seems like I can understand the gist of it. But, <laughs> but right now, <laughs> Mihoko and I, we only know English and Japanese, so so it's a little bit intimidating, but it's so, it's cool though, you know, like it's, it's really interesting, but at the same time a little bit, a little bit scary. Mihoko and I are inside the airport at Seoul, and a really, really strange thing happened. When I was, uh, we're waiting for my friend right now to come and pick us up. But I heard like somebody say Paul, and I looked, and in 2004 I went to Akita Prefecture in Japan, and I stayed there for six months. I went to Akita Minami Koko High School, and uh, when I stayed there in um, the class, I was in 3H, and one of the girls that I knew there was Shoko, and so I met her in a Korean airport, which is really, really funny. I guess right now she's doing an exchange program in France and she came back to um, Japan for the summer. But it's really, really, really like, it's such a coincidence. Really, really random, but really awesome. So. Say hello, Ria. Oh, 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 oh I was like making the like, I was like. I met my friend, and now we're going to be going back to wherever. And I just noticed something. The cars here are big. Big like American cars. They're not like teeny little tiny Japanese cars. I don't know. I. It's not good or bad. It's just interesting. So, I think that, I think that this is the subway from the airport. But look at the size of this thing. It's huge. I can't believe how big it is. 